It is cold AF here in Texas. What's going on guys and welcome to this updated collection video on my vintage TMNT, which is right behind me right there. I have acquired quite a bit of grails, in my opinion, since the last time I've done one of these and I wanted to share it with you guys. Right now in Texas, I am snowed in. We have intermittent power, so this should be tons of fun. So this should look a little familiar to you guys that follow the channel, but up here I have some figures along with the sewer playset connected to the Technodrome. And then I have Android Crane right there. This is a newly acquired, uh, this is Leo's Jolly Tub, I believe it is, and it's super incomplete. So I need to get some parts for that to complete that guy. And then over here, we have the Bubble Bomber, and I actually have the box to this guy right back here. So that is complete. Dudes, when battling the foot, my motto is keep your feet planted, except of course when you're in the air. Which brings us to the Turtle Bubble Bomber. Our Bubble Bomber drops smoke-filled bubble bombs. Boom! A really awesome jet with really awesome bombs. And that brings us to another great vehicle, the Sewer Sand Cruiser. Turrets rotate, makes gunfire sounds, that'll get the foot flying. So dudes, remember, a good turtle general never finds himself in the soup. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I hate soup jokes. And then I have Pilot Donnie for that. And then I got the 4x4. And then on top of the 4x4, I have Needle Nose just chilling on it. It looks pretty sweet. I like that. I like trucks. I like TMNT. And I like big mutant bugs. So that works out. And then I have the Technodrome box hiding behind there. Along with the boxed foot ski, the sludge mobile. And then I have Basketball Donnie. High five. And then over here, this is the original 10. These all are the soft heads. And I got their card backs back there. And all these figures are complete. So going down here, this is kind of my universal TMNT. I have all of those. They are not all complete, but I'm working on that. And then I got the trolls back there. I do need a Leo. Then from the adventure line, I have the deep dive in Leo and then Arctic Dawn. And then down here, I have the sports figures, you know, basketball Donnie, touchdown Leo. And then I have Mondo's uh, variant right here. So he goes in well with the TMNT music line right there. Then I have some of the silly ones like the, um, the clown and then Magician Wrath. And then if we look down here, let's see if I can get a good view. I got all of these dudes. I got Sergeant Bananas, Pandacon, uh, Ray Filet, Worm, Tractor, Mikey with his tractor. Then I have Biker Leo without his bike. And then this line right here, the movie figures. So I have all of these guys complete. Uh, minus Splinter, I need to get his accessories. And some of my favorite figures right here is the uh, Warriors of the Forgotten Sewer. So all of these guys are complete minus Bebop. I only have his trophy, so shout out to uh, Joe Ryan for that, thanks buddy. But I just really dig these. And I recently got the Red Plastic book by Chris Fawcett, and uh, you should check it out because they have some more that was gonna come into this line, but I'm not gonna spoil that. And then down here is kind of like the mutables, I guess. So we have Hotspot, he's complete. I have Scratch the Cat, and then I have a complete Sandstorm, and then uh, Half Court, and all of these guys, these guys minus Scratch and Skeletal, they're all complete. I do have the antennas, I just need to glue those on to Anthrax. And then down here, I have my custom made, I still love this guy, this guy is freaking amazing. Got a needle nose and wing nut. Then we have Leatherhead right there, we got Slash, I got the 
uh, yellow belly uh, variant, the regular, and these guys back there, and I got a creepy crawling splinter and space usagi in package. And then down here I got kind of like all the reptilians. I got, let's see, we got Genghis, we got Mondo, we got Napoleon, and then back there I got the superhero, uh, Super Mike and Super Don on card. So shout out to Josh Pence for those guys. Over here guys, I have the movie three. I have some carded figures right up there. Yeah, what is that, Warlord? And then Kenshi. And then here's some of the movie three figures. I need to get another Mikey because his hand is actually ripped off. I need to get a uh, hat for wrap and then maybe a few more accessories. Then I have cracked out Splinter. Mad man, make no mistake. Then I have two of the Shoguns, actually. I have Raph, the gold, with the gold armor right there. Then I have Mikey. Moving down here, there's a couple more movie three figures, April and Mitsu. Then I have my Dino Turtles, along with some street charts back there. I was like, why not? But I still need to get a Leo. This guy, I got this for like, I don't know, it was like two or three bucks. My buddy Chris Good picked up that for me. I need to get a replacement for that and some accessories for the Dino Turtles. Then down here, I have the uh, Mini Scout right there, along with Triceratron, General Trag, a couple Mausers. Then I have the Robotic Bebop. And then I have two of the Star Trek figures back there. Then I have the other two carded, which is uh, currently in storage. And then down here, I have a complete uh, submarine that have kind of the military guys back here, which I am digging a lot. I love that shelf. Up here, it's kind of my toon turtles. So got all of these guys. I, I think these all are complete. Mine, this may be a TV for burn. Yeah, I got this guy. This is complete right here. Then below I have, this is one of my favorite shelves too. I have the Toxic Crusaders. I got the cell right there. One of my favorite vehicles. Just freaking look at that. That's just 90s like thrown up all over it. Then I have a complete Toxie, a uh, complete Dr. Kill em Off. And then I need to get this raft, this hovercraft. I need to get that completed. I need to get Junkyard completed. And then I need a few more figures to complete the Toxic Crusader line. And then down here is one of my favorite shelves as well. I have the minis. So I have Don's Pizzeria. This is from the Sewer Wars playset. I think this guy is about complete. And then I have the mini Toka and Technodrum right there. You see Shredder looking on uh, Mikey, I think. And then we have the Basketball Don set. And then I think that's the set for Leonardo. So pretty sweet there. These guys are really hard to complete, as you can imagine, because this is like Mighty Max back in the day. Just so freaking tiny. All right, guys, so that's about 85% of my vintage TMNT collection. The others are in storage right now, and I'm snowed in, so it's kind of hard to get to, if you could imagine. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you all of my NECA and Super 7 TMNT and how I have them displayed. So for NECA, I have the movie one figures up here and set up. There's Shredder hiding behind there. But I love this detolf right here. And then down below, I have, let's see, all the NECA, a lot of the Trash Serotrons, the Dimension X guys, Trag, uh, Graniter, Bebop Rocksteady, Shredder, April. She's back there interviewing. And then here is my arcade turtles wave one and wave two i cannot wait for may for what is that baxter that comes out and i think somebody else but yeah i love the arcades and then down here it's kind of a mix uh i got M music leo right there then i have the sh figure art turtles some of the dc stuff and yeah this is one of my favorite setups as well. So I got some Super 7 stuff over here and NECA kind of mixed together because why not? I love turtles and this Dio works perfectly for both. So as you can see, I got some Toxie 
over there. I got some Thundercats chilling over there and then a bunch of the Toon Team NT right here. And then up here is the Super 7. I got them all guys. I'm lucky I have them all and I cannot wait for more. There is Mutagen Man. My favorites out of these, I would say is Bebop and then the Foot Soldier. For sure, my favorite turtle of all time is Leonardo. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really love them all, but they did amazing with uh, all of them really. But Bebop and the Foot Soldier really stands out to me. And then a little mix up here. I got some, some Foot Soldiers chilling right there. Toka and Razar. I have Leatherhead up there for some reason. And then Super Shredder. But yes, I love this freaking setup. I really like how it came out. And then, a little spoiler alert, there's some uh, Mochu Classics right there. And yeah, Turtle Power. And there you have it, guys. That is probably 85% of my vintage Team NT collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a ways to go to complete this line, but it's a lot of fun. As you can see, there's so much stuff in this line and variants, but it's been a blast. And anybody that's helped me out along the way, thank you so much. It's much appreciated. And guys, stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully, uh, I don't lose power.